this uh, Vita is going to be me doing a speed up of painting this uh, birdhouse piece that I purchased a while ago at Goodwill and I just put a layer of gesso using this gesso acrylic. I purchased that at Walmart quite a while ago and I, I gessoed it because this piece had some marks of being bumped around while on the shelf at Goodwill and that sort of thing. So um, it needs to dry a little bit more because it's not quite dry but I will get back to painting this um, in real time but sped up on the camera for you. So while it's drying I'm going to chat for just a little bit. Um, my intention is to paint this with acrylic paints, uh, mostly Craftsmart. I don't know if I'm in frame there, I can't see it, but uh, these kind of paints. I will probably seal it, I'm not sure with what yet, I don't have it, uh, I don't own it yet, but I will go to the store and find what I need to spray it to seal it forget what it's called but um after I'm done painting it it's gonna be a gift for my mom uh, I also had planned to give her a hat um, still gonna try and do that but um, she really likes birds and I think she will love this birdhouse fence piece that says love thy neighbor and uh, yeah so that's what I'm gonna do with it when I'm done so I hope you'll enjoy watching me speed through painting this piece and uh, stay tuned. You can see that uh, I have not been able to do all of it in speed painting uh, because the angle is really weird and I can't really see all the detail that I'm doing but I did the grass piece here and the flower leaves down on the bottom um, they're not completely done yet but um, I'll try to show you the color changes and the things that I do um, on camera, but some of it's going to be done off the camera. So, yeah. Alright, so I did try a technique of rubbing the acrylic on. Um, as you can see, this side here is kind of a light green, and I wanted to put some shading. So I did some darker acrylic and I rubbed it on in this area. If I can get it to focus. But um, I'll show you here. Okay, so I just take a piece of paper towel, dab it in the paint that I'm going to use, dab a little off, and I'm just rubbing it on, like so. So just 
just like that. Gave the base a bit of a shadowy effect. So I got all the red on the uh, flowers. Now I'm going to try and put in some highlights here using a darker green. Just going into the creases. So I've added the shading to the leaves down here, the leaves that belong to the flowers. process of painting the leaves, the vine leaves that go up the fence in the third house. That's where I'm at so far. And that is this paint right here and I noticed that it's a gloss. So it's going to be kind of shiny in those leaves. With the first layer of painting these leaves. Of course they're gonna get highlighted in dimensions at some point. So I'm gonna just stop and show you those. And I'm gonna move on to, I think I'm gonna start painting the post and the fence next. So I've gotten this far, 
in my painting. As you can see, I've, I've uh, shaded the leaves. And I've got the fence post and the fence all painted. Now I just got the rest of this to do and the birdhouse and the nest.